Hello, so my name is Alexa. I'm a biology major. I'm a graduating senior and I was just going to make a video kind of about how I study for different uh, pre-med prereq classes. So um, kind of in general, um, I feel like it's really important when you study to kind of actively study and not just kind of, I don't know, read your notes and not do anything else. Um, and but I guess I kind of have different tips for the different subjects you kind of I feel like you have to tailor it to the specific subject because every subject is different. Um, and you know, in terms of something like reading the textbook, I feel like for me, that's not always the most helpful thing, but it does depend on the class. In general, I feel like you just have to kind of see what works for you. Um, but especially if you do decide to read the textbook, I think it's important to like highlight or take notes on the side or something. So you're not just kind of like glazed over reading it. Um, but if it doesn't help for you, if you like, don't feel obligated to read the textbook if that's just going to be a waste of time. Something I really like to do when I study is to make kind of like review sheets or cheat sheets. So if you've ever had a class where you get like a note sheet you can use during the exam and you get like one piece of paper to have all the information, I like to make those for any class, whether you get one of those or not, because I think it's just a really good way to like have to go through all the information and condense it down onto one or two pages. And then one, you can study off of that, but just writing everything down a second time really helps you to learn, especially for some subjects. Um, in terms of flashcards, I feel like, you know, use them if they help you. There's some classes where you have to memorize stuff, so obviously that's helpful, but other times maybe not as much. And then there's definitely classes where you have to do practice problems if you want to learn the material. So I'm going to kind of go through, I guess, the general types of pre-med classes you would have to take and what I think works for me, but again, do whatever works best for you. So for biology, um, I feel like biology, it depends a lot on the class. In general, I feel like that could be one where reading the textbook might be more useful. But again, you could just be skimming it or reading just the passages for the topics that don't make sense to you. Um, and then again, for this one, I feel like it's useful to go through your lecture notes and condense them into a couple of pages. Sometimes for biology, you can't condense them as much because it's a lot of information. But just kind of writing things out a second time or at least the main points helps you to learn and then depending on the class flashcards can definitely be helpful like um if you're learning anatomy terms or something then you do just kind of have to sit down and memorize those and then also depending on the class maybe problems like for genetics sometimes doing um, problems can be useful to learn uh going into gen chem I feel like that's one where making like a fake cheat sheet is really helpful because there's so many equations, it's helpful to have them all written down in one place and any useful tips or information related to those equations. And then that's another one where practice problems are really important. Obviously, that's most of what it is, is just doing problems. So it's really useful to actually do problems so you can do them on the exam. And when you do problems, even if you have the solution, you know, make sure you actually do the problem yourself or get as far as you can before looking at the solution. That's the best way to learn the material. I feel like Gen Chem is one where reading the textbook, for me at least, was not as helpful. Uh, going into OCHEM, I know that's one that a lot of people have problems with. I think for OCHEM, what worked best for me is, and my professor kind of helped with this, but to list out all the mechanisms that you have to know for a given exam. Um, she would usually list them all out before we had an exam, but if your professor doesn't, then go back through and find all the mechanisms you learned, because sometimes there's a lot and then once you get those mechanisms listed out from what I did was I just like would draw them out over and over until I knew them basically because you have to know the mechanisms to do well. So just get a whiteboard or do it on paper or whatever and just draw and draw until you memorize it. Or if you have to memorize certain structures that works too is just drawing the, you know, the structures over and over and also doing practice problems for OCHEM is really important. We would always have homework problems that were due the day of the exam. And that honestly helped a lot to learn the material of, you know, being given compounds and having to get to a new compound or whatever they are to actually apply all the mechanisms that you hopefully just learned. Uh, going into physics, I feel like that's pretty similar to Gen Chem where making a cheat sheet I think is really helpful to kind of condense all the equations into one place and then doing a lot of practice problems. Um, I feel like physics almost always has homework problems you have to do, so make sure you do those even if they're optional. It's very helpful. Um, then I guess math is technically pre-med classes. I haven't actually taken math or calculus since high school because I had AP credit, but um, that's kind of the first class I ever did the cheat sheet thing in. My high school teacher made us always write like a cheat sheet where we would have to write everything for that exam on like one page. 
And that was really helpful, especially for a later calculus where like you have all these different rules for derivatives or integrals. It's really useful to like have those all in one place. And then when you're doing your practice problems, you can refer to that um, just so you have a one place where they're all listed out. And then going on to biochem, I know my biochem class wasn't as intense as a lot of people's, um, but I feel like it's pretty similar to OCHEM and how you should study for it, at least how I did, which is drawing out the mechanisms a lot if you need to know mechanisms. And then I feel like biochem also is a lot of flashcards because there is a lot of stuff to memorize. Um, and then I guess the last kind of pre-med classes, these aren't, I don't think required, but psychology and sociology, those ones, I feel like it depends a lot, but that's one where reading the textbook might be helpful. Um, flashcards for psychology and for both of them, there's a lot of terms, a lot of times you have to know, so flashcards can be useful. Um, yeah, I guess that's kind of it for the typical pre-med classes that I think of. Um, again, you should just do whatever works best for you, but I feel like different classes are better suited to different things. Um, just as long as you're kind of actively learning and not just clicking through the slides that your professor posted, which that can be helpful, but if you're doing that, maybe also take notes on the side or something like that. So that's all I have. Let me know if you have any questions and if there's any other videos you wanna see and thank you for watching.